Hey, yo, how's it going, boys? What is up? So, I was back once again for another character impression. This time we have Vane Fuller McBrack! Hello, what's up, man? Big boy, finally the final Dragonite's dude got his full moment break. Now we have a. Uh, all four of them are now full moment break. Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's the final one and he finally got it. Yes, so. Alright, I'm gonna co relate with the previous one because I honestly don't remember what the fuck is his changes, but yeah. So the first change is his Ogi for obvious reasons, so. The, the one that got changed was his... Was that? Hit to attack stackable. Wait, that wasn't there before. <laughs> Nani? Yeah, that wasn't there before. Previously, it was like... 30% 30, 30 defend up. Yeah, before this, it was 30% defend up. I don't even see that anymore. Now, you just have uh, attack... Yeah, attack, attack down stackable and fire attack down and activate next heroic beat twice, which is his first skill. Cool, cool. Alright, so now his first skill is now called heroic beak. <laughs> heroic beat, not beak. Beat. Ah, god damn words. It's so hard to, to, to pronounce. Uh, so it's now a water nuke. Previously, it was a Pepega debuff, <laughs> which was technically this, because his S1 previously was attack, attack down and fire attack down, but it's not the stackable one, so, but it was also a nuke, so hmm. he can restore his HP as well and dispel by the looks of it. So he can double heal and double dispel, double nuke. Cool. I don't remember which level changed that, but yeah. I know this was his level 100 change, one for all. So previously, he, he was just gaining jammed and hostility up or some shit and uses max HP. Now, he has jammed effect to caster, boost to defense, substitute effect, receives all ally attacks, guts effect. And consumes 40% of his max HP. So the consumes HP thing is still there. So basically that just allows him to activate his uh, enmity thing a little bit better. Because he has this thing. Which if I recall correctly doesn't have any change. Because I don't remember this got changed at all. Because this is still relatively strong anyway. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh wait, this is actually a clear. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a clear. Not 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 debuff. No, I mean not dispel. <laughs> the because dispel is actually, you know, something else. Because <laughs> debuff, if his dispel is supposed to be clearing a buff, <laughs> remove a buff instead. Yeah. So, my bad. So yeah, this one now has extra defense, which is probably super high, and now he has. That all ally attacks, so insane sub, and he can withstand lethal hit. Yeah. So basically, he's uh. Yeah, I guess he's okay. So the other one is. Oh right. Okay, so they changed almost everything he had. So this was different as well. So previously, his never surrender was originally. Guts, right? Yeah, that looks like Guts. Now it's boost to Vayne's multi-attack rate while jam effect is granted. Wonder how much is that? But yeah, I don't think this changes anything, right? <laughs> this looks exactly the same, yeah. I don't think this is this is like the only skill they didn't change. The rest is the the rest are different. Damn, I kinda wish I didn't full limit break him to, to see the difference of the 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 uh, the before his full limit break, never mind. Okay, so the other one he got his new passive, which is called the Dragon Within. When a foe uses a special attack, activate Heroic Beat. Extend Vayne's buff duration by one turn. Excludes one turn buffs. In other words, this thing. He looks good for fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Plus 5 activates this 
the, the thing relatively often too. No, I was saying like, uh, I was saying like, I wanted to, I should have checked because like he, it does look like he got rebalanced. Wiki is now showing his pre, his pre rebalanced self. So I wanted to see his max limit break version after rebalance, but yeah. I didn't know he was getting a rebalance actually. I thought he was just getting a full limit break. God damn. But yeah, from what I can see, he, look, he looks pretty nice for father. Okay, the other thing he had, he didn't they didn't change was his uh EMP support, I think. Because his EMP support looks like yeah, it's the same. You know what? Let me just put him in like whatever party. I just want to see how his like his shit works anyway. So uh, I'm just gonna slot him in here, my Ogi setup and shit, and just see like how much he heals and stuff. Um, boom. Yeah, he looks pretty cool for far, man. Like, he really looks cool for far. Pretty, pretty not too bad of a debuff as well. What? Wait, did that activate twice? It didn't look like it did, but I, it, it did. <laughs> so his heal is... 2500? Because <laughs> I saw him heal 5000 earlier. So I would assume that he healed for, fi for 2500. So if he activates twice, he gets... 5k, right? The other, I mean, the other cool thing is that this thing... Has a treated cooldown. <laughs> Yeah, because this thing is 3 turns cooldown, he can get it up super fast. Because... I mean, technically kind of allows him to use this. And then use this, this to heal himself up a little bit. And then use this again. Then he gets a little bit lower. Press this. Then reset. He can do this again. Do this again. And then, you know. Man, that's kind of cool. Alright. Yeah, he looks pretty cool right now. Like after his rebalance, it definitely looks like a lot better. But I wonder how much is his his uh, multi attack thing with the gem stuff though. Okay, let's try without first. Let me test his multi attack rate first and see how average, like on average, how much is he doing. Okay, so most of the time it's just single, sometimes double. But the double is like what twenty percent or less now. <laughs> yeah, he's single attacking a lot. All right. So he's single. He's single attacking a lot. So now. His now is uh, as long he has jammed, right? So which is this. Which lasts for how many turns? Eight fucking turns! So he basically has multi-attack up for eight turns. <laughs> or technically, if not permanent, right? Rather. Because <laughs> more or less, you can use that and just leave it there for a while. Because his jam is basically there for 8 turns. The only thing you want to press this for just to get this extra stuff. Yeah, the only thing is just gets dispelled. But like, if you use it in the likes of... Uh, use it in the likes of Far, I think it's not really a big problem though. 4 singles, 2, two doubles, and 2 trip. Wait, no. 3 triples, 2, two, two doubles. <laughs> right? How much was that? He singles a lot though. I mean it's I mean it's alright though. I mean it's fucking eight fucking turns though, you know what? I mean it's not like you're gonna rely on just having him to be to be getting the extra buff anyway. Plus it's not like you're prob you're probably gonna use that too, so I wouldn't really count on that either way. So it's I think it's fine. Cause like once you start using this thing, it's like fucking A. He, he pretty much have like what? Triple attack 30% or something? Yeah, 30% triple attack and 70% double. But something tells me with the new changes with uh, this thing, he actually might be having like 
probably 100% triple or something. Maybe not. Yeah, he just probably had very high triple attack rate with those two up. He actually does feel like 30%, not gonna lie. <laughs> or at least 40 plus, 40 to 50%. Because he does look like it's like a, almost a 50-50 chance of triple. But the cool thing is that you can keep... If you actually activate that shit, his third skill... And if, you, if you're in a raid that, well, allows a lot of uh, this thing to happen, he can technically just keep extending this relatively high. To the point that, you know, maybe you can get it to like 8 to 9 turns or some shit. So you don't really have like a massive long uh, downtime on his third skill. Kinda cool though. You know, in that case, if you're planning to run him on far, right? I think it's a lot better to level this up because his garrison is like fucking 70% or 75%. I mean, from the looks of it, he's still probably gonna be situational regardless though he does feel like he's still uh, situational but he does look a lot more usable now at least in some of those cases that is compared to before he's pretty much useless though that's the thing <laughs> previously he's like so freaking useless he's actually a very good synergy character with maria though very very good synergy with Maria <laughs> like actually really good because he can force himself his HP to be super low very easily and then Maria just use S3 Ooh, let me try that <laughs> bam. bam dude oh good activator man oh shit <laughs> then he can do that again see good synergy man because like after he can keep doing this then he can continue doing this too so it's like you can you can manipulate having this and that that shit on him too it's like you don't really have to have both of it up right you can actually just you know have one hers because hers is also relatively high on cooldown too so you can just use hers first or his first and then go with hers or I mean vice versa whichever works it's pretty damn cool man uh sure oh damage for Ogi is not a problem boom Yeah, exactly. It's like five to six turns downtime. It's it's pretty damn nice, man. And you can just do this double time. Bam! Fucking two point five now. Before this was like two million or something. Yeah, and I only have like that one proving ground gun or some shit to increase the cap once. Yeah, the damage is so much better, man. Holy shit! There's no debuffs too. Just to have that Maria buff up. <laughs> MC wave again. <laughs> wow, MC, please. <laughs> Come on, MC, don't do this to me, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, does he extend on him too? Because he adds. Ah, oh, shit, I wanted to see actually. Because that technically extends his buff, right? Whatever buffs that he has, isn't it? Wouldn't it extend this too? At least one turn? Huh. Oh, <laughs> well, that's kinda neat. <laughs> Yo! Yo! What? <laughs> Dude, that's sick synergy! I just realized that! What?! <laughs> I, can, I can legit just keep tapping that actually. <laughs> I 
I mean, it obviously depends on the depends on the uh, the current situation of it too. Are you gonna be fit a third time? Okay, <laughs> guess not. <laughs> Dude, that that's some pretty good cool ass shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, you could technically extend it with uh with Quatre as well too. Damn. Dude, I don't try far now. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, it looks fucking sick, man! But yeah, I mean, end of the day, it's still my- Like I said earlier too, like... He's still situational though. Like, if you have that that, that character set up and shit, like yeah. Having Maria or like Quatre or whatever shit is just gonna be a... A very good combination too. He looks pretty interesting though. But yeah, he's still gonna be... Quite situational. I mean... Previously, I put him under... Mish or something? Pretty cool man, he's actually pretty damn cool now. But like, yeah, you definitely need some characters that to like, you know, have some a little bit of like some synergy going. He can't really like, you know, be like a one-man army, you know, like certain characters kind of shit. Providing crazy amount of utility, providing like crazy amount of damage nukes or whatever shit, you know, like some brain dead ass characters and shit, you know, those kind of stuff. Yeah, he... He looks pretty fun, man. He looks pretty fun right now, especially like... Yeah, you can activate this twice, you can heal for 5,000. 5,000 is pretty hefty too, I would say, in a way. If you think about it. So now if you actually man if you can actually roll skill cap on him... God damn, that's pretty nice, man. It'll be pretty dope, I would say. Skill cap... Heck, I would even say Ogi cap will be still good regardless. Because uh, when you have his S3 up, dude, his Ogi cap is insanely high. <laughs> Shit, man. But yeah, this is... This is really cool though. Because he can extend both his buffs and other buffs that is on him. Because it just says extend whatever buffs that he has by one turn. As long as it's not one turn buffs. So, you know, he has Maria's buff or whatever. Shit, he can even extend that stuff. God damn. I guess... That's... It for my first impressions on the uh, vein full limit break. He looks very interesting and all that, but uh, still relatively situational though. But he's uh, he definitely does look like a fun character. I might want to try him far next time. <laughs> we will see. But uh, whether whether that's gonna be in a YouTube video, that's a whole not another story. So uh, yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.